Hi, good morning. I'm Zhi Fei. I present our work, Age Progression Regression um, by Conditional Adversarial Autoencoder. Now, let's start by an, an example. For example, given the face of 35 years old, and progression will generate older faces, and the regression will generate younger faces. And the most recent work will chop the dataset into multiple age groups. And then we will learn the transition between each two adjacent groups, for example, T0, T1. So they are group wise learning. And in the testing stage, a query image need to know the label because it need to transfer from the source group to a target group um, uh, step by step. And our method will learn on the whole data set uh, and learn a new unique, unique model. And in the testing stage, the query image will not need the label anymore. So compare with uh, those recent works, the group-wise learning becomes joint learning, and we have relaxed the requirements on label in the testing stage. And in the third, we can bidirectionally generate older and younger faces just in one step. And the main idea is manifold traversing. Uh, we have assumed that the face line on the manifold and clustered by the uh, personality and the age. So traverse on the manifold will preserve the personality and at the same time change the age. For example, given the baby face and traverse on the manifold along the path will generate older and older faces. And on the opposite, if give an old face and traverse back, we can generate younger face. So more general, when, when we have a face of arbitrary age, we can traverse bidirectionally and generate younger and older faces at the same time. This idea is realized by the conditional adversarial autoencoder. Given the input images through the encoder E, we get the personality features. And then conditioned on the label age, we get the feature in the latent space. And then through the generator G, we map the latent feature onto the manifold. In the latent space, the traversing is linear, corresponding to the nonlinear path on the manifold. And the mapping between the linear and nonlinear uh, paths are learned by the generator G. Here's an example. They're traversing to get younger and older faces. And the red points is another example. Now it's traversing on one direction to generate older faces. And then it will traverse on the opposite direction to generate younger face. And here we also use two discriminators. One is on the personality feature called the DZ, and another is on the final output called the image. These two discriminators have different effect on the on output. The DZ will force the the latent feature to be uniformly distributed, so it will make the traverse smooth. And the effect of the D image will make the final output to be more realistic, have more details, and higher resolution. Here's the training process. The first row is the input images, and the rest are generated images of different ages at different epochs. In the right are some results compared to the best prior works. Thank you.